Good morning, guys. Now, this is Friday morning. I miss Wednesday, but I'm going to do the video for Wednesday and post it today. And then when you get through watching this one, you can go and watch the Friday video about the coaching. But I wanted to jump on here this morning and do just a little bit about my book. I've still got the proof. But I wanted to read a little bit out of it. If you have just is this the first time you've ever joined and watched my channel? This is Sheila's One Stop Coaching Channel. I'm Sheila Texter. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. Share me out there because on Wednesdays, normally <laughs> on Wednesdays, <clears throat> I share about my writing journey. I share about my book. And I'm just going to continue pushing that over the next year as i still continue to write i've got other projects that i'm writing on but i just got through with this little baby and lord's willing maybe today possibly today maybe tomorrow i will be hitting that publish button publish button and in 72 hours it'll be available on amazon and I will be ordering a bulk of books in to hand out to all the ones that have already prepaid. And I will be signing them. So if you want a signed copy, just private message me. Text me if you have my number. If you're not from here and you want to order, I, it'll be on Amazon. But this is called Life After the Mistake, New Beginnings. I gave out two proofs. I ordered three. I kept one because I was kind of wanting to kind of go through it too. I gave out two proofs and then I've sent out like a couple of PDFs of my book. And I have got nothing, nothing but over, over the chart reviews. I mean, they have just, two of them have just blown me away by what they've told me. And one, because you know, one thing that I learned when I started writing was one of the things that I learned from the tutorials about writing is you get somebody in your mind. You get that one person in your mind and you write to that person. You've, you've got to narrow down your writing to a specific audience. Now, motivational, inspirational, that is for everybody. And in a sense, this is somewhat an inspirational book. I mean, yeah, it would be a Christian inspirational book. But this is a story about a failure, a mistake that went on in the church, in the church, while living for God, and how God healed, forgave, brought redemption, brought restoration. I mean, it's just a beautiful story. But it's raw, and it's real, and it's going to help some people out there it's going to help some people out there that have fell in the same category but anyway so i just wanted to let y'all know that a couple of the reviews that i've gotten they well all of them have said this book is going to help so many people it's going to help so many people so and that is my goal a lot of people may say she's just writing that book to promote herself I promise you it's not about me because I'd rather just sit back and not have to put myself out there, uh, put myself out there for the ridicule or for the criticism that may come. But you know, there's an old saying, if you don't want to be criticized, say nothing, do nothing, and be nothing. And there you go. You'll never be talked about. You'll never be criticized. You know, you'll never be talked, you know judged shot at whatever just don't do nothing and you know so anyway so if you're living you're doing something and i just want to read this right quick because i'm going to try to make these videos short today but the reason i want to tell you the reason that i'm having to do wednesday's video on friday or my you know like my book uh channel my book video about my book we were kind of a little bit on a mini vacation this week we were in branson missouri I took my laptop. I intended to make my video, but when you are traveling and you're traveling with kids and you're at a um, tourist spot 
and you've rented a place to where they can play in the water 24 hours a day almost, that's pretty much where you're going to spend your time. And that's okay. But I'm back. I'm going to make these two videos today and get them out there to you. But I'm going to read this a little bit. Uh, this is on page 86. And this is in chapter, let me see what chapter this is. Or actually, this is not a chapter. This is kind of like the in-between where it's switching over from the mistake, uh, from the different set of eyes, uh, almost to the new beginning part. So I want to read this. He doesn't want us to sin. He doesn't want us to commit adultery. Sin is sin in the eyes of God. Don't be deceived, though, because some of the acts of sin will have a much larger price on them. There's only one sin that cannot be forgiven, that is blaspheme. That passage of Scripture is found in Matthew 12 and 31. The act of adultery, affairs, and fornication all fall in the same family of sin. Can it be forgiven? Yes. But be ready for a time of rebuilding trust and reputation. Sometimes it can take years, but it can be done. The devil does not want us to know biblical truth. He wants you to take the words of people that are not knowledgeable in the Bible. My husband and I both are witnesses of this tragedy. They say you cannot do what God has called you to do if you've been married more than once. And I'm not here to dispute beliefs. What I will share with you is how God took both of us and began to call us out of our comfort zone. We had settled in for the long haul. We were minding our own business, trying to forget the past when God began to pull on our hearts. So my dear friend, there is life after the mistake. Don't settle. Don't settle. If you've had a calling, if you've had a dream, you had a desire, you had something that was there before you fell, or maybe, like me, I had no ideal. I had no ideal. It was the reading. When I began to read, and it began to take me to the Scriptures, and show me word to word from word in the scripture. And the scriptures in the Bible, they're, they're life. They are alive. It began to awaken those things that had originally had been in me, but I didn't know it. But God began to shine a light on those things and let me know, Sheila, I've got work for you to do. I've got something for you to do. Your mistake has not stopped me from, from your call. It's not stopped me from wanting you to work in the kingdom. I, I just feel like God knew. He knew that I would fall. And he knew that he could take my fall and help somebody else. Just like David. Again, I, I might have mentioned this last Wednesday in my other video. But I tell you, if it was not for the story of David in the Bible, I would feel like I had no hope. I would feel like I might as well just go on and do my own thing because I'm doomed for hell anyway. That's the way I would have to feel if God had not shared with us examples in the Bible of adultery, murder, disobedience. I mean, everything in the Bible that is going on today or things that are going on today, you can find those things in the Bible. So thank God that God didn't hold back. Thank God, God didn't tell uh, the writers of the Bible, don't put that in there because that's going to bring up their past. Don't put that in there about David because we don't want David to look bad. <laughs> if it wasn't for that story, do you know how many people would feel like they were lost and doomed on their way to hell? But because of that story, it ought to encourage us to know that even if we fall in adultery, whether we're in church or out of church, that there's still hope. If we will be um, repentant, you know, have a repentant heart, and God knows, just like David, he knew David's heart. 
You know, he was a, a man after God's own heart. David was passionate. David, you know, he, he wanted the things of God, but he also fought the flesh. I've been on here 10 minutes. I'm going to get off of here. This is my, my video for Wednesday about my book. I've got my proof, but stay tuned. Hopefully, I'll be sharing another video where I'll be hitting that publish button. Y'all have a great week, and I'll be back in a little bit for my Friday coaching tip.